मतलब बिफोर आई वॉज नॉट स्लेव बट आफ्टर मैरिड आफ्टर आई गेट मैरिड कम हियर एंड लिव विद माई वाइफ सो डेट लाइफ कैन से एज आ स्लेवरी लाइफ हाई माई नेम इज अशरफ आई एम फ्राम पाकिस्तान एंड आई एम थर्टी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड मेरी वाइफ ने मेरे साथ मेरी शादी पाकिस्तान में हुई थी दो हज़ार ग्यारह में तो उसके बाद मैं कुछ अरसे के बाद इधर हांगकॉन्ग में आ गया था जब हांगकॉन्ग में आया था तो मेरी वाइफ के कुछ रिश्ते रिश्तेदार थे रिलेटिव थे मेरे साथ तो फिर उसके बाद वाइफ ने रिसीव किया था एयरपोर्ट से उनके घर आ गया था तो पहले दिन से ही जब मैं अपनी वाइफ के घर आया था तो पहले दिन से ही मेरी वाइफ का बिहेव रवैया उसका मेरे साथ बहुत ज़्यादा बुरा रहा है इतना मतलब इसको ऐसे भी कह सकते हैं कि पहले दिन से ही जब नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग अगली मॉर्निंग में पहले रात को इधर आया था तो अगली मॉर्निंग जब सुबह उठाऊँ तो उसने मुझे सारा काम किचन का समझा दिया था कि आपने किचन का ये करना है तो फिर काम तो करता था काम के साथ जैसे ही कोई थोड़ी सी मिस्टेक हो जाती थी क्यों मैं तो ये काम मैंने तो सीखा नहीं था किचन का काम या उधर पाकिस्तान से मैं किचन का काम तो नहीं करके आया था करता था तो कोई भी मिस्टेक हो जाती थी तो फिर उस पर बैड वर्ड यूज़ करती थी वो वाइफ मेरी गालियाँ निकालती थी मारती थी वो जो शूज़ होते हैं एड़ी वाली जू, जूती जो होती है उसके साथ तो और भी फिर ऐसे कह लें कि मैंटली भी उसने मुझे टार्चर किया है और फिज़िकल भी टार्चर किया है क्या आपके साथ उधर बहुत अच्छी आपको लाइफ मिलेगी तो इधर हांगकॉन्ग आने के बाद मुझे पता चला कि मेरे साथ तो बिल्कुल ही डिफरेंस हुआ है मुख्तलफ हुआ है जो कुछ इन्होंने बताया था तो बल्कि ऐसे कह लें कि मुझे ये जाल साजी के ज़रिए इधर ले कर आए हैं तो मेरे साथ तो धोखा हुआ है तो फिर इधर आके इन्होंने क्या इनका सिर्फ मिशन यही था कि घर का सारा काम करवाते थे In fact, when Ashraf came to me, he was not aware uh, how I characterized him as a slave groom. He came to me, and then he told me his ordeal: what happened, how he was tortured, how was he beaten up. And then I asked him that, "Do you think you are a, you was a slave here?" And he paused for a while. He looked at me. He said, "Yes." So I told him that these people, this kind of people who has gone through this kind of ordeals. I categorized them as a slave groom, and he agreed with that. घर का सारा काम करना जिसमें cleaning, washing, dishwashing, तो एक wife का बेटा भी था मेरे wife का already मेरी wife पहले मेरे married थी मेरे साथ दूसरी शादी दूसरी दफ़ा मेरी wife की शादी हुई थी तो फिर सारा घर का काम करना बच्चे के भी देखा देखभाल करने लुक आफ्टर बच्चे का भी देख देखभाल करना सारा उसका भी तो अगर किसी जगह कोई थोड़ी सी मिस्टेक हो जाती थी तो फिर गाल गालियाँ निकालना ये तो मेरी वाइफ का डेली का काम था और बज दफ़ा फिर मार पुटाई और वो भी जूते के साथ शूज़ के साथ मारना तो अगर कभी थोड़ा सा पानी का गिलास पी लिया तब भी झगड़ा या कभी थोड़ा सा थक जाता था काम करके घर का काम करके तो चाय बना ली तो सुबह सात बजे काम पे जाता था शाम को सात बजे आता था काम से वापस तो जब जाता था उस वक्त जब मेरे घर से निकलने का टाइम होता था तो वाइफ मेरी क्या करती थी कि पहले सारा काम इसने घर का करवा लेना सुबह बहुत टाइम से उठा देती थी तकरीबन चार बजे सुबह उठा देना इसने वाइफ ने वाशरूम को साफ़ करना किचन का काम करना तो वाइफ के लिए भी ब्रेकफास्ट तैयार करना जब अपना ब्रेकफास्ट में तैयार करता था तो ये वो किचन की चीज़ें छुपा लेती थी दिचुएशन ऑफ अलेव ग्रूम और अलेव मैरिज इज बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दैट द पर्सन फील्स लाइक दे आर एंटरिंग इन टू अ रेगुलर मैरिज and they feel like they are going to be in a situation where like anyone else they'll be happy but the intent of the family bringing them in is to exploit them so when most people think about marriage trafficking they think about women and girls who are trafficked from one country to another for the purpose of taking care of an older individual and that gets a certain amount of coverage something like this doesn't get much coverage because the men don't want to talk about it 
they're embarrassed about this and they're, fa they're ashamed that uh, perhaps people will look at them as not being masculine or not manly enough, that they can't kind of basically control their marriage situation. So that I would go to the breakfast and go to the work, then I had to go to the work like this. So it was all the day in the work. When I was out of the work, there were some Indian people, some people from Pakistan. So then I would ask someone to 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 ask someone. So I would have to ask someone 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 to ask someone. कि जब कोई थोड़ी सी मैंने मिस्टेक कर दी या मैंने कभी कह दिया जब बाहर जाता था तब भी मुझे ऐसे लगता था कि जैसे ये मुझे फॉलो कर रहे हैं ट्रैक कर रहे हैं पीछे इन्होंने कोई मेरे साथ छोड़ा हुआ है तो मुझे ये भी डर होता था दूसरा इन्होंने मुझे इधर मेरी वाइफ ने और मेरी मदर इन ला है उसने मुझे बहुत ही ज़्यादा डरा के रखा था कि मेरा इधर वो मेरी मदर इन ला कहती थी कि मेरा बेटा जो है पुलिस में है तो अगर तुम किसी को कुछ बताओगे तो फिर हम तुम्हारे साथ और भी इससे भी बुरा करेंगे तो मेरे तो माइंड पे जहन पे पहले ही बहुत ज़्यादा खौफ था इन चीज़ों की वजह से तो ना कुछ पैसे भी नहीं थे जो भी मेरी सैलरी आती थी मेरी जॉब की तो वो मेरी वाइफ कलेक्ट करती थी ऑफिस से तो इस वजह से भागने तक भागने का तो मैं कुछ सोच भी नहीं सकता था तो जब ये तो फिर लास्ट पर जब आखिर पर मैं भागा हूँ तो वो तो फिर बिल्कुल इन्होंने बहुत ज़्यादा उस रात तो मारा था तो फिर इस वजह से मैंने सारा कुछ बल्कि अपने मैंने कपड़े वगैरह भी उधर ही छोड़ दिए थे तो सारा कुछ उधर से छोड़ के ऐसे निकल आया था भाग गया था तो उस वक्त मुझे एक इंडियन इंडियन दोस्त था वो भी मिल गया था कुछ उसकी बातों से मुझे हौसला हुआ था तो फिर लास्ट पे इस वजह से मैं भाग गया I work for a Christian uh, charity organization and I come across a lot of uh, slave husbands, mainly, uh, you know, people from Pakistan, India, uh, more from Punjab. I have met almost uh, within my own contacts about more than 20. The story, most of the stories are very similar, like they are uh, brought from India or from Pakistan uh, and they get married to Indian or Pakistani women on, on some conditions like, uh, you know, they will tell the man that, okay, we will bring you over to Hong Kong, you will get a good job by marrying my daughter, and they kind of very subtly trap them. And when they come, they end up almost like being in a prison because they are already married legally, and once they come in the family, they are trapped. And often what they do is they abuse them um, by doing all the household works, then even sometimes doing the driving. It's almost like a slave, not as a domestic helper, but a, a married slave brought into Hong Kong and their life is miserable. psychologically controlled, physically beaten up, so he was not able to contact with other people, even though he was walking through the other people's every day in his daily life. He was going to work, he was going to, uh, after work he was going back, but he was so much tortured psychologically and physically that he dared not to speak with any other person about his ordeal. And eventually when he spoke, then he was helped to quit that life. First I looking at Ashraf is very, you know, very skin, is very dirty, like sick, very thin. Like this, you have a mental problem, like this one. Then he tell me I have my wife some problem. 
She sa he said, fighting with my wife, wife fighting with me, no give me food, no give me any money, like this one. Then I talked to my friend. I said, what the problem? Then he tell me all story. Then I tell my friend, no problem. I give you pocket money or you come my home, eat anything, don't problem, no problem. The, I have so many cases, same Ashraf. So I looking so many cases in Hong Kong. Yeah. No, no, I, I think no anybody help. Uh, like uh, somebody have same Ashraf has too much problem. Like this one, nobody any handling this case. If you go on the person page, I would say that 20% of the marriages of the South Asian with their locals, and when I say Southeast Asian is Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, they turn out to be slave grooms. How they pray, how they find them, they find the victim from a matchmaker or by some relatives in back hometown or home, homeland, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. They will find those people who have very poor family backgrounds. Let us. They have, they belong to a poor family. They are not influential people. I no feel normal. Sometimes I feel, I wake up when I was sleep during sleeping, I suddenly I wake up so have a very bad dreaming in my mind and I don't want to remind that time when I was with my wife. When I remember that time, I also have a lot of pain and I also have a lot of pain in my life. So, we can say that either they have completely finished my life. They have finished my life. So, I also don't look at my future. What will happen with me? What will happen with me? I don't know what will happen with me. I don't know what will happen with me. असर अभी तक मेरी लाइफ पे है और मेरे जहन पे भी उसका असर है अभी भी रात को कभी कभी मुझे बहुत डरोने ऐसे ख्वाब आते हैं तो नींद से उठ जाता हूँ डर लगता है बहुत ज़्यादा he was not aware that he will be able to get the justice. And also, he was isolated from the society, from the people here. He was monitored. Ashraf's case is refused. Uh, honestly speaking, that night I could not sleep. I only able to give him a call next day to give the news that your case has been refused. Now we are in the preparation of uh, filing a reconsideration. Um, I don't know how long it will go on because it really depends on different officers' attitude. But uh, I really feel painful for these people. Yeah, I want to deliver a message for other, the, especially this young generation who thinking uh, that some the living or uh, other country Pakistan, India, Nepal or other country maybe the, uh, the young generation thinking they get married uh, to abroad and then they come to the other country abroad they come abroad and then they have a very good life, very easy life. So it's not true. Now the first thing is that if, uh, I have a no work now, and but not only have I need help about the work, I have so many other problem also I have uh, about my practical life, uh, about my case, uh, and about my you can say about my life. Yeah, uh, it's it's true. I don't want to go back to Pakistan. Then it means you face the people's people are talking about you. Oh, this man already have uh, failed uh, the marriage uh, about uh, cannot 
make her family and then come back uh, also no have wife no family no children when i thinking maybe the government uh, if government not accept accept me here then i go back pakistan that time i thinking just no need to go back pakistan i kill myself Thank you.